Well, in a fire-based emergency, uh, which is primarily uh, with what my department covers, uh, first thing they should do, uh, student, faculty, staff, or otherwise, is begin to evacuate the building. Uh, on their way out of the building, if the fire alarm is not activated, pull the fire alarm uh, to start the rest of the building evacuation. Uh, once they've done that, if they have a cell phone, call 911, uh, tell the police department where the emergency is, what the emergency is, and uh, start to alert other people as they're evacuating the building by yelling fire or what the emergency is as they leave. Each building varies, but typically every building has at least a fire extinguisher. Uh, most buildings have fire alarms. Uh, most buildings have sprinkler systems. The equipment there, though, is strictly uh, to allow the occupants to safely evacuate. We don't expect any occupants to use any of this equipment. Uh, it's mainly there, especially the fire extinguishers, they're mainly there to assist you if you become trapped to try and get out of the building. But we don't expect or we don't want anybody to use this equipment except for the trained responders. Uh, if you go to our website, which is ruesruckers.edu, there's a whole list of fire safety uh, residence hall rules and regulations, uh, which lists everything from cooking appliances to the length of extension cords permitted. Uh, but I definitely recommend everybody reviewing that website, uh, which is kept up to date with the most current rules and regulations.